you, what's a nice thing you've done for your mum? Wow, I don't know. The nicest thing I ever done for my mum would be oh, I bought her a holiday last year. Oh, there's a lot. Well, one thing my mum does love is she just loves to, to get a hug uh, whenever I see her, so that's something that um, I probably don't do enough, but she loves um, just getting a hug whenever we see her. I suppose I just every now and again send her some flowers. Um, I haven't done it for a while, so maybe I'll go home tonight and get on into Flora and send her some. Uh, very hard to differentiate when I do beautiful things every day. <laughs> uh, I recently uh, got a house fitted out with new carpet, so that's probably the nicest thing I've done. <laughs> she's very loving. <laughs> um. <laughs> My mum, she's a, a very kind and generous person. She'd do um, almost anything for anyone, so I really admire that trait in her. I just threw a crack in the throat. Definitely a caring, loving nature. She, um, she's a hard ass sometimes, but just has a lot of care for everyone and anyone at, at, at all times. There's no job big enough to be able to help. She, uh, anything I need done, uh, no matter how big, how small, she's uh, always willing to help. Yeah, Mum's very loving no matter um, what I do. She's always very supportive. Um, telling me I'm best on after every week, even when I play atrociously. telling me I'm best on even after I play atrociously. The most annoying habit would be calling me four or five times a day. I'm not sure she's got too many annoying habits. She, she tends to stress about um, myself and my brother and sister a fair bit, so I wouldn't say it's annoying, but she just uh, she's always worrying about us. Questions everything and anything at all times, so doesn't really understand the younger generation as far as I'm concerned. When we go over there for either dinner or lunch, she continually tries to hand me food, even though I'm full. Yeah, I think maybe just going back to all those questions she used to ask, it's always, even with the kid, with the mates in the car, she'd always question them at all times, try and find out all the different things. Uh, she likes to drop my name and uh, yeah, offers uh, people sign stuff of me before me even, even knowing, so I stopped doing it. Mate. She embarrasses me every day, um, just little things, just treating me like I'm a two-year-old still. I can't say she's ever um, totally embarrassed me, she's always um, been the very, very caring mum, she's always looking out for, for our best interests. She likes to bring up old photos when I was young um, and show everyone, so there's a couple of embarrassing photos that she pulls out and has a bit of fun with. Sorry, Lauren, but yes, it is. 100%. Uh, I'll have to say my partner is a better cook. Um, we did grow up on, on meat and three veg, so that was a pretty staple diet. No way. She'd admit that too. Clearly. Uh, I'm known as the golden child in our family. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't consider myself to be, but I think my sister would say I definitely am. Uh, no, I don't think so. My mum's... Um, I well, was pretty fair to all the kids and she, she loves us all, all equally. Yeah, I'm the youngest, so probably yes. Uh, yeah, I do love my mum. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I do, I do love my mum, uh, but I'm certainly, I don't, I don't think I'm a mummy's boy. Definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely I'd be a mummy's boy. I'm very much like my mum, so um, we uh, talk pretty, pretty openly about things, so I'm a mummy's boy. I certainly am. Yeah, love mum very much. Compared to a daddy's boy, if you have to be one, I'd be a mummy's boy. Probably not. Um, try and call her once a week, but uh, yeah, we've got to do, do better than that. No. Probably not. No. We probably speak more, mainly just about footy, about getting out of tickets, so I should call her a little bit more. I, sh I don't, uh, and probably don't call her back as often as I should either. Tickets to something that I've forgotten about. Tickets to something. It's very impressive. <laughs> Health insurance. <laughs> Generally, um, we don't do too much um, for Mother's Day. Usually I go with my brother and sister and we just get something small. We don't tend to, to do too many um, extravagant gifts for each other. I haven't bought anything yet. She always says not to buy anything, um, but it'll be some flowers, I'm sure. and. A card is usually the only, the only thing. She just, all she ever wants is a card. That's all she wants. Uh, recently, just bought mum some flowers. She loves getting 
Some flowers and some chocolates. <laughs> I bought her a nice dinner at a nice restaurant um, and a weekend away uh, in a hotel. Probably my nice pale skin, uh, but apart from that, I think she's a, um, a really kind person. I'd hope to, to take that quality from her. Uh, I'd like to think that I'm a very nice person. I'm definitely the nicest person that I know. Clearly my good looks and my long locks. Shocking. <laughs> I don't talk behind people's backs. I'll say it to you, be fair. I think I've probably taken a little bit of that care, caring nature from her. Um, I like to think that I, I care about people and I, I try and uh, stick by that a fair bit, so I'd, I'd think that'd be the quality I've taken.